What's up everyone, back for another beer review and today I'll be reviewing a beer from the Saranac Brewery and they're under the Matt Brewing Company umbrella and they're out of Utica, New York. And this is their Black Forest, which is a part of their throwback series. So on the label, they're calling this a Bavarian black beer, also known as a black lager, also known as a German Schwarz beer, comes in at 5.3% alcohol by volume, 20 IBUs, the time of review, don't know exactly how old this bottle is, but on the bottle, there is a Best Buy date of December 31st of 2019. At the time of review, we're about two and a half months from that date. So should be fine, should be relatively fresh. So I have almost 600 uh, beer reviews on my channel. And this is the first Saranac beer that I'm reviewing, which is just crazy because uh, when I first got into craft beer about 10 years ago, there were two breweries that really helped, uh, for lack of a better term, educate my palate. And uh, they did so in a very cost efficient way. And those two breweries are Saranac and Samuel Adams, aka the Boston Beer Company. So, uh, you know, back then, uh, you know, craft beer uh, was not as plentiful. And some of it was expensive. Obviously, nowadays, a lot of craft beer is expensive. Back then, I could buy one of Saranac or Samuel Adams uh, variety mix packs, whether it was one of their uh, seasonal mix packs or one of their themed uh, mix packs. And I could grab 12 beers, usually four to six unique beers, all of different styles for anywhere from 12 to $15, a uh, 12 pack. So you're talking around a dollar, just slightly over a dollar a bottle. And that was great. And Saranac and Samuel Adams, I probably have had well over a hundred combined beers from them, uh, mostly different styles. And they helped, like I said, educate my palate on the different styles in craft beer. Uh, do they always brew the best beers within the style? No, uh, but I think they usually do a decent job at the very least. So when I would pick up their beers, I'd be like, okay, this is what a black lager tastes like. This is what pumpkin ale tastes like. This was, you know, what a, uh, you know, amber lager tastes like and so on and so forth. Um, so I have a uh, special place in my heart for Saranac and Samuel Adams. I always will. So I haven't reviewed anything from Saranac, but I saw this on the shelf and I was like, Black Forest, man, I, I remember having that beer. They usually release this. Well, it was a year round offering up until about, let's say three or four years ago, and they took it out of their year round lineup and they brought it back a couple times under this throwback series and they say limited release on it. Uh, it probably wasn't selling great, I'd imagine, uh, to take it out of the year round lineup. Uh, but I remember enjoying this one. It used to be a part of their 12 Beers of Falling, uh, Fall Mix Pack. And I, I liked it. it was, was it, like I said, the best German Schwarz beer I ever had? No, but it was good. I think it represented the style well. And when I saw this one, I was like, I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna review it because I haven't reviewed a Saranac beer and why not? Let's do it, why not? There's no reason not to, right? So here we are, and we're gonna pour it into the brewed and bottled uh, craft beer shop glass. If you're ever in Lewiston, New York, or anywhere in the northern suburbs of Buffalo, check out Brewed and Bottle. Chris, uh, the owner there, fantastic guy. Another uh, friend of mine and a fellow beer tuber, uh, Chris over at Off the 10th, always shops there, he loves it. So yeah, I mean, check them out. I thought I'd use the glass today just because, why not? So yeah, that's pouring out, kind of like what you'd expect from a Schwarz beer. It has this really d deep, dark brown color pouring out in the glass. Uh, it has a, on camera, probably come off like a deep brown or maybe even a pitch black. In, in person, this is definitely, you know, black in the middle. As it peers out to the edges of the glass, it's more of like a ruby red. Um, had about a finger of a creamy looking uh, beige colored head. Looked pretty nice. Uh, when I was pouring it, it has dissipated a little bit. It looks like a nice beer. It's a little bit lighter probably than the style for me. Uh, it, you might look on and be like, no, that's perfect. But in, in person, definitely with the ruby red, I always feel like this. I always feel like black lagers are basically like, you know, just lagered, uh, like a, a lower ABV lagered like porter or stout. Um, you usually get the characteristics you typically get in those, but just a little bit like watered down. Not in a bad way, just like, you know, lighter and easy to drink. So anyway, let's get a nose. Yeah, caramel chocolate, a little bit of roasted malt and coffee. Definitely smells a bit sweeter. Uh, it definitely has a sweetness, not in like an overt or crazy sweetness, it just smells like it's gonna be sweeter. A little bit of like this earthy pine resin. Now I've been doing reviews here for the last couple weeks and the power tools that all of my neighbors are using is crazy. It's like it's fall time. Right now outside it's like 45 degrees. People are cutting their grass, it's going crazy. I don't know why I'm ranting here, but it's just crazy. It's just like, I, I would review stuff during the summer, nothing, nothing. Like I know people are cutting their grass clearly, but I don't know, it's a rant for another day, another time. Anyway, it smells pretty good. Yeah, it smells pretty good. It has a tinge of like that Coca-Cola vibe that I sometimes get with like lighter stouts and lighter porters, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just something that I get occasionally, but yeah, it smells pretty good. Let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, it's a nice German Schwarz beer. Like there's nothing, bad about this beer. There's nothing great about this beer. 
I think it kind of hits most of the stylistic um, points that you want as far as like characteristics. 5.3% is higher side of light body, lower side of medium body, which is appropriate. It's crisp. It's relatively clean on the palate. Slight smoothness to it. Easy to drink. That slight caramel, caramel toffee thing is right up front. Then chocolate, a little bit of like coffee, a little bit of like a coffee roast into a lightly roasted, more of like a toasted malt than an actual roasted malt. It finishes slightly dry, a little bit more residual sweetness than I'd probably like to see. So I'd say if there's one um, negative for me right now drinking this is that I think I'd like to see a little bit more balance on the finish. Maybe a little bit more dry, slightly more bitter because it's finishing a little bit more, a little to the sweeter side than I, than I uh, prefer. It is what it is. It's a uh, decent, solid uh, German Schwarz beer. And that's what I always remember this beer being. Is it amazing? If you're into the style, are you going to buy this and just, oh my God, it's great? Probably not. But I think if you like the style and you buy this, you won't be super disappointed by it. I think you'll enjoy it. I think you can drink a six pack of this and have no uh, no problems throwing it back. Yeah, as I'm drinking this, very easy to drink. There's there's no off flavors. There's nothing wrong. It's just, it's just solid. It drinks like a 5.3% black lager should. Yeah, I, I, it's good. It's it's a solid to good beer for me. So rating on the Black Forest from Saranac, give it a high 3.5 out of 5. I'll go 3. 3.6 out of 5. It doesn't get in a 3.75 level for me because I'd like to see a little bit better of a balance on the finish. Outside of that, though, like, yeah, there's, again, you'll buy this one. I don't think you'll be disappointed by it unless you have super high expectations and you probably don't. If you're buying this beer, you're probably just like, I hope it's, you know, a well-made uh, black lager. And uh, yeah, pretty much is aside from the slight unbalance on the finish. So yeah, Saranac's uh, Black Forest, 3.6 out of 5. Value and availability, wherever you see Saranac. I don't know their distro footprint. I always thought Saranac was like very prevalent in like the, the Northeast. They definitely get distribution in New York. I think they get surrounding uh, or distribution into surrounding states. But if you can get Saranac, then you should see this one on the shelf as we speak. I think this is part of, like I said, their fall. Um, I don't know if it's part of their fall mix pack this year, if they just threw it out there as part of their throwback series and like uh, six packs, which brings me to, I paid a buck 59 for this bottle. So you're probably looking at like $8 as a six pack, which is great value. Like I said, Saranac has pretty good value typically. So, you know, a buck 59 for this bottle and you combine that with the availability and yeah, pretty solid. So anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by for another a beer review here on the Beer Patrol. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. This one's been a long, around for a long time. So I'd imagine if you are in the Northeast and specifically New York, you probably had this one at some point in your past. I'd be curious to hear what you always thought about it. And if you want to grab this at some point, I would highly recommend doing so just to, for nostalgia's sake, just to, just to grab and be like, I had that beer eight years ago. Let's see how it is now, because that's kind of why I grabbed this one. I always say in the shelfy beer reviews that I've been doing, going back to the uh, mixed six pack the month in august to now where i'm doing like the shelfy reviews um you know i say it so many times be like i haven't had this beer in four or five years and i really haven't i, I haven't had this beer since shit, 2013 probably 2014 so it's been like five or six years so to revisit this beer a lot of fun it's kind of what i remember it being so that's nice as well so take it easy everybody till the next one cheers <laughs>